Hello and welcome. In this video, I will navigate you around Shopify user interface and how some of the settings works. If you are new to Shopify, obviously some of the things are new. So I'm going to talk about those stuff. So you might have noticed my Chrome background is changing here every time uh, and the, every video. So in my website, I have created a subdomain here, chrome.codeinspire.io, and what I did was I just create a, like a few hundred quotation with a, f a nice background for it and just uh, each of them is going to be random so every time I refresh my page I am just getting this one because my start page is going to be um, to this website so you can do this one if you like it it is completely optional so it was not advertising too so let's come to the Shopify interface here this is our development store so what I'm going to do is I will teach I will go through each of these options thoroughly and then in the future videos we will discuss them in details first of all the home page you have everything you have here you can add your GST if your uh, shop is completely ready to go so you can get some of the let's say oh, I'm in Australia so it is going to be uh, adding your ABN number and some of other stuff for the taxation office you don't have to do this one if I scroll down here I haven't had any product you can add the product you can customize your thing and you can add your own domain and everything will be green after doing that so for now we will not do that one in the tab of orders you can see all the orders we do not have anything it is completely empty your craft orders if someone place an order and they do not complete it that is going to be a craft order you can see like someone place an order you can send email to them to notify them and stuff like that also abandoned checkout those who leave the checkout page those are also here and you have your products every products will be here we don't have any we will add in a future video everything is so simple it is so easy for the people who are start creating selling something this is the best options possible so I have used WordPress Magento and stuff like that those are a little bit confusing and the interface is not as nice as Shopify so they have worked a lot in the past few years on Shopify interface also they have transfers we'll talk uh, more about this one about inventory management and there are inventories you have collections collections are known as categories if you have used WordPress you can create like categories you have a home categories you have let's say sport categories you have clothing categories and stuff like that also you have gift cards you can sell gift cards to people so they have a gift voucher and here you can see all your customer we don't have anything analytics is going to be about your store how much you sold today how much you sold yesterday this is very useful if you are looking in deep of how your store is going to do something is this going to do like you are going to put an ads and your ads is going to bring you customer or not this is where you can see everything reports this is where you can export your reports and see how much you have sold live view if your store has a lot of customer you can see the live view and the live sale are going to be here so it will update every second and you have the marketing which is you can connect it to Facebook to Google to Instagram and you can see all your marketing here we will discuss we might discuss about this one but it is not important because we are developers we do not care much about this stuff so what we care is more about development where we can write our code so I, that's why I just thoroughly discuss about this one discount code you can give them a discount let's say 10% off you have a discount code this is where you can create them also apps apps are here apps are like plugins so you can add them from here for now I don't have any these are the recommended apps by Shopify you can use Oberlo you can use kit you can use product review you can use order print these are all by Shopify that's why they put them here so these are nice apps we will talk about Oberlo in the future videos and dropshipping but you can create your own app also and you can list them here so I don't have any here but in the future videos I will install my private app and you can see how you can add them so coming to the online store this is where most of the things happen so in the theme you will see your theme here and it also say your pa your page is a password protected so everyone cannot access your page for example if I open this one in incognito my front page window and it is going to send me to the home page of my website and why you can see this one here this is incognito I said if you do not have 
access to this you cannot see it because it's seen that URL with this the session that's why you can see this one in incognito so if someone if I close this one click on this normally so if it happens for you make sure you are not clicking on this like me sending in incognito so for now if I open it in incognito I shouldn't be able to access this page because it is a password protected page I can enter my password here and then I will be able to see my store so because we are and under uh, construction we do not let people see everything so i'll come closer here you have one theme called debut which is the default theme in shopify this is nice but if you look in the code they have written this is like 2010 way of coding something i'm honest like the way they have coded this is i think uh, i don't know if this is new theme or old theme but they have done the coding very differently it is nice it looks nice but the coding is not the standard way so I will show you how you can do it in the right way but so uh, of course I'm not going to say like this is a bad team this is the default team so Shopify comes with this one also they have a lot of free themes and you can uh, explore free themes as well as pay theme and the Shopify store also you can upload your own team the this is what we do in the feature video and the blog post you can create posts you can create pages you can create navigations we will talk more about them also the domains that you can add your domain here preferences is going to be a comprehensive options no 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 this one is not so this is just a few titles you can add the title of your page and some of the google analytics password stuff like that but for the setting you have a lot more options that we will focus in the future video so this was the necessity option that you need here so if i come to the online store again all we are focusing is customizing the theme if you click in the action button you have added the code and added the language where we are interested is here of course i'm not going to write my code in the shopify code editor here we will develop it offline and we upload it online so this is where the theme structure is going to be you can see all the codes here and everything is extension called liquid what is liquid don't worry about this one this is the easiest templating language i have ever seen so you will learn a lot about this one in the future videos for now this is where your active active theme exists and this is where you can edit anything i will talk about every folder in details so that's it for this video not going to be too long but in the future i am going to explain more about this one see you in the next video where i will talk about the theme customizer and how this is going to work customize